First of all, I uh, want to give uh, Ohio State uh, credit. Um, good football team. I think uh, you know Barrett makes a difference for them. There's no doubt about that. I think uh, I think Braxton Miller is a special athlete with the ball in his hands. Um, and then obviously their their tailback. I thought they played up played well up front as well. Um, you know, we're having major issues. We've had major issues for two years with punting the ball. Uh, the way we want to, you know, the way we need to play right now, which is uh, play great on defense um, and find ways to, to grind it out on offense and play field position. We haven't been able to do that for two years. If, if we need to have open tryouts, uh, we're going to have to find a way to solve, solve that problem. Uh, that, that's been a major issue for us. We had real opportunities, I think, early in the game. Uh, there was a touchdown that, that, that called back for a penalty. Uh, I think it was a significant play in the game at that point. Uh, we had a huge drop ball down in the low red zone. Uh, just We had some opportunities early in the game. Um, you know, our defense was playing well. The offense was moving the ball. And those things, you know, we weren't able to capitalize on it. And when you don't capitalize on the road against the number one team in the country, you're going to have some problems. So, um, you know, they got the same guys that, that keep stepping up. Uh, Carl Nassib, Anthony Zettel, uh, Garrett Sickles had a big game, career high, eight tackles. Barkley with 193 rushing yards. So, um, you know, we, we got some work to do. Give those guys credit. Good football, good football team. Questions for Coach? James, I want to ask you what exactly happened to Christian, but did you consider <laughs> taking him out of the game? And, and why did you have him in late down 28 points? Uh, yeah, you know, he got banged up, uh, asked the doctors if he was good to go. They, they said he was good to go. So, um, again, you know, we're going we're gonna to continue. No different than late in the game. They had Bosa and their starting defense in there. And we're, still, we're still playing football to, to win. We're trying to find a way to you know, be successful. James, early in, the, early in the game when you went for it on fourth and eight, did you give any thoughts to a field goal in that situation? Yeah, it was a, I think it was a 48-yard field goal. Now, one of the issues that we had, it showed up late, is, is you know, we're getting, we're getting push inside. They triple teamed um, our right guard, Chaz, and knocked him back. And unless you're going to be really stout, uh, Joe has a tendency on the long field goals, he can, he can bang them, but they come out with a low trajectory. And, you know, that was, that was the situation right there. You know, we, we felt like we also... Um, you know, had some opportunities from a field position standpoint that we didn't take advantage of. Um, you know, there, was, there was one time, you know, where I was hoping that we punt them deep and, and, and didn't do that. So, um, obviously, we're going to have to factor all those things into how we're handling normal situational football, how you would normally manage a game. Those things are affected by that now. James, what did you think of Barkley's performance, and did you think he would be getting carries like mid twenties, like 25, 26 carries, like he did tonight? Yeah. Again, you know, as you guys know, I mentioned last, I was hopeful that he was going to be able to play last week. Um, you know, obviously he played well this week. Um, you know, we want to continue building on that. You know, one of the things that was was challenging is, you know, he's running the ball, and we're moving the ball, and having some success, some success, and we have a negative yardage play. Now you're in a long yardage situation, obvious passing situation which is everything you want to stay out of with, with where we're at right now, especially being on the road. Um, you know, we had the, we had the you know, uh, issue with the, the crowd noise, and, and the snap got, got snapped at the wrong time, and it hits Brandon on the fake, on the fake sweep. Um, you know, those things, those things on the road, again, getting the large, long yard situations uh, make it real challenging. James, you were in some very difficult situations from Ohio State's punting perspective. They got you time and again inside the. Can you talk about what an impact that may kind of convert to? Yeah, I, I think again, I think that's significant. The fact that their punter, um, you know, was able to be really aggressive and get the ball off. Not only was he able to swing field position a few times, but he was also able to sky punt us and and, and back us down there deep a bunch of times. I mean, uh, the ball, I think one time, you know, rolled down to the two or three yard line, and then you know, numerous times we caught the ball at the six, and then we go to punt it, and we punt it for, I don't know, what was the average? It wasn't very good. And so, you know, that, that field position kept catching up with us. Coach, can you explain what happened on that? Uh, I think it was a fourth and two, um, and, and it looked like Barkley curled out to the right, and was wide open, but um, seemed to be a breakdown of communication, and Hackenberg was pressured. Uh, can you take us through that and what exactly happened out there? Yeah, I mean, Barkley was the fourth progression on the backside. So, I mean, those things are good. You know, unless you kind of understand the quarterback progression, um, you know, we went from the flat to a stick route. Um, you know, uh, 
again, we had opinions. We thought we thought we had a chance at a stick route. Um, you know, it didn't happen. You know, they they kept getting pushed and getting pressure. Uh, for for Christian to think we're going to get back to the fourth progression on a three step drop, you know, probably probably not going to happen. James, we've seen the drops happen with Mike quite a few times this year, and I mean, you know, he has has the abilities um, and unique talent. Do you have to say anything to him, or do you think he's maybe inside his head too much? I mean, we have, we've seen him be as critical of himself as anyone. Else. Yeah, he he's, he's got a chance to be a really good player. Uh, we believe in him. Um, you know, he's he's. Uh, He's got opportunities to make plays that he will make, and we're going to keep going to him and keep giving him opportunities. Um, he's made those plays in practice. He's made those plays in, in games, um, but he needs to do it consistently. No different, no different than any other guy. What can you tell us about Kyle and how much did not having him uh, hurt you in a game like this? Better player. Like that? Well, you know, not having Kyle, um, you know, really factored into to Adam Brenneman. Uh, you know, we weren't sure that Adam Brennan, Brennan was going to be available. We started working him on the scout team. Uh, Kyle goes down. Uh, you know, we're able to bring uh, Adam up, and he handled it well. Um, you know, he handled it well. You know, obviously first game back in a long time. Um, but, you know, I think, I think you know, from Wednesday on, he practiced up with us and, and did some good things. So the fact that we had an older guy who's played some football, um, it didn't have a huge impact from a game plan perspective, those types of things. How costly was that and what kind of went into losing the Well, I think it's, it's what a lot of the things that we kind of already talked about. We had some opportunities early on that we didn't take advantage of. Um, we got in the negative, you know, we got some negative yardage plays that put us in um, you know, some challenging situations with their D line and Bosa. Um, you know, I thought I thought it was at times in the interior of our offensive line we, we struggled and got and got beat, um, and then we got we got pushed back several times at, at tackle. So, um, you know, again, if, if we could have played the field position game and ran the ball more consistently um, and not got the negative yardage plays, then I think you know, we would have had a chance to to get the game to the fourth quarter in a little bit more of a competitive fashion and see what happens. You know, our message at halftime was, I think it was, you know, we were down by 17, no different than we were last year. Uh, you know, the difference, obviously, last year, you know, we were at home and this year we're on the road. I think those, those things factor in. Um, again, good football team, give them credit. Uh, we had opportunities that we did not take advantage of. Gene, so much of the dynamic change for your defense once they got buried in there more, sort of stuck to that and gave you more of those sort of options. Yeah, I, I, I mean, there's no, there's no doubt that was different. I thought, I thought we were actually playing pretty good when it was a traditional drop back quarterback, you know, running the ball, traditional running game, you know, traditional drop back, uh, go through your progression. Um, now, now Barrett comes in and the, and the speed and the athleticism that he has, not only to beat you, you know, with his arm, but also beat you with his legs. Um, you know, th those guys, I think, you know, the combination of, of, of the tailback. Um, you know the, the quarterback and, and Braxton Miller, and like I mentioned in the very beginning, those three guys I think just play at a different speed, um, and that, that definitely factored in. There's no doubt about it. Anything else for James? Thank awesome. you. Thanks, guys.